Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10. Another Friday build and uh, the third build in a week. So this is 15048 and it is of course another build for the creators update and it was released today, Friday, March 3rd, 2017. Now I was looking at something and I tried to remember so I went back into my videos because I wanted, you know, to know how many builds and how fast builds were released uh, a week, two weeks, a month before anniversary update. And I noticed that actually last time there was a lot of builds just before the release. And so I was thinking, oh, okay, so maybe that means we're going to have a ton of builds before the release, but not that many because we're soon to have RTM and um, Mary Jo Foley has a great name for it. Retail, it's retail to mainstream. It's, you know, uh, really cool. So, um, basically, this build, just to say, if you are looking at this video, wanting to know what's new, well, nothing. So, you can already move away because there's really nothing much in this build. But there's some interesting information uh, that I'm going to talk about. So, if you're uh, interested in learning a little more, why not? Okay, so this build was released today. Now, one thing I did notice is how fast it downloaded. I'm used to seeing how the download speed goes with these builds. And I was surprised at how fast this download went. So, one of the things that actually crossed my mind while this was downloading was, is this some kind of test of the uh, universal update platform. Now, I had no way of measuring the download size and I really, really wanted to know. So, basically, I did not update the other machine that I have, which is home. I'm going to actually log my router and see uh, what, you know, reset its um, data and I will download the build and look at how much bytes the day the uh, router has logged when it downloads because I'm really curious I've seen downloads of builds but not that fast so I'm wondering if this is not one of those new uni universal update platform builds because it was fast but not super fast in the install but was quite fast in the download though. Uh, the install did look pretty much the same as it looked usually, but um, interesting. I'm, I'm really wondering here. First thing you notice when you actually get to this new build, Watermark is back. That is interesting because it was gone for the past two builds and we were thinking, hey man, we're really close. But not only is the Watermark back, when you look at the Windows version, not only do we have still version 1607, but look at this. Evaluation copy expires 15th of May 2017. They put back the expiry date. So that's interesting. Um, I don't remember that ever happening in the past, but uh, kind of cool. Now, you might just say, you know, some people told me, oh, why didn't, don't you just, you know, install it and do a review immediately after you install? I never do that because I want to do one major thing. Use it for at least a few hours in order for me to know if it works well or not. So this thing was used as my main machine running the chat rooms for my live show today, for example. And um, with that, uh, look, this built is flawless. I haven't seen any problems. Works really, really well. Now, you say, why is there a build with no new features? Well, simple. They are testing out the bugs in this because they want to make sure that the bugs are gone from this build. So basically, they fixed a number of issues in this build and uh, a lot of them. But not as many as last time, but there's still a lot of them. But there's one thing that we got to know is that there's still quite a few known issues in here. Um, one of the most important, if you have a Symantec Norton antivirus software installed, 
you may get an error when attempting to download the build <coughs> so you might need to un you know uninstall it if you want to have this build there's still that update that fails at 71 percent and then rolls back problem there's also um, if you can't upload because if you can't upgrade and it's kind of frozen at the start of uh, you know after the download it restarts and tries to do something but it doesn't this is still a problem here this has to um, you have to re-enable IPv6 and you've got to do anyways the um, registry key problem that I've talked about and posted a video on how to fix it F12 still crashes edge and if you have multiple monitors you might have problems with the way that uh, monitors are it might stop rendering uh, so there you know if you reboot it should fix it uh, so there's a few things here that are not all right and they already know so that means we're still gonna have a few builds probably it is interesting I, I'm, I'm puzzled by the return of the insider or the the watermark I think it just means okay well, no, we're, we're in builds and that's it so apart from that flawless install flawless usage uh, this thing works great and I haven't had in encountered anything in this build um, of course I'll continue this weekend going through this I will of course update uh, anything that I have to say if there are anything to say about uh, this build and uh, I will be checking that out and of course be updating this weekend I might actually post a few videos tomorrow Saturday and maybe one or two also on Sunday just a question of keeping up to date so nothing new uh, very very stable build it's one of those numerous builds that we're getting right now and uh, you know we're soon to be at uh, careers update and we gotta think about that so uh, have fun if you uh, haven't already uh, updated check it out it's for the fast ring if you're in the mobile 15047 is an also download mode for the fast ring you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching